Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on the Project Corner. Now, I've missed a deadline. I would have uploaded a video every second Wednesday. But last time I missed a deadline. It was crazy hectic at work, at home and everything just took me uh, out of the zone of doing anything for the Project Corner at that time. First of all, I apologize for that, but this gives me an ideal chance to talk about deadlines. Deadlines in Microsoft Project are even a thing. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to share a feature that's called a deadline. So what I have here is a schedule and I called it missing a deadline and there's a phase one, there's a phase two. There's even assignments on there. Dave, Hank, Will, Dan work on this uh, schedule. But um, there should also be deadlines in here. Currently there's tasks, summary tasks, milestones, and they're interdependent on each other. So if I move this task to be three weeks instead of two, everything pushes uh, to the back. And I can change that back and change highlighting shows me that there's changes in the actual finish date of that schedule. But these are dynamic elements within the schedule. And most of the time a deadline is a fixed value that you get from an external source. For instance, your assignment owner or uh, the contract giver or the client that gives you that set deadline that can but not always is the same as your last milestone. So for instance, this milestone we're going to be all right. There is going to be a deadline that we don't skip and on the end, we'll have a deadline that we do surpass. And what happens in Microsoft Project when that happens? Now, first off, let's navigate through the um, task information. And in task information, you have all these tabs. And one of the tabs is the advanced tab. And in the advanced tab, you can do all sorts of crazy things. You can set the constraint type as soon as possible or must start on. You can have it as a fixed units type or fixed duration, fixed work. We'll do another video about that. Um, but on top here is the deadline and that's very nice. So for this one, I said that we're going to make this one just fine. So let's set that to the 24th of six. 2019 and what happens is there's not so much visible on the right side but on the left side you'll see that there's a little green arrow and I'm going to skip that deadline to a later date so that we have better visualization of that so let's set that a month later and now you see that little green arrow here which tells us all right we are still in the green. This is still a deadline that I'm going to reach. And if there's changes within the schedules, for instance, the one that I showed earlier, everything moves except for that deadline. That deadline is still on the 24th of seven. So if you hover over it, it will give you the idea that this is a deadline, the 24th of seven, 2019 and we're still going to reach that there's no issue here so what is the visualization that you get when you overstate overarch or uh, surpass that actual deadline that you wanted to to have to make at least so for that i'm going to choose the last milestone this, this one and i'm going to set that to be a week earlier than the actual deadline uh, the actual milestone. Now previously I did this through the task information pane and I'm going to show you that again. So task information and then you have the advanced tab and in the advanced tab you'll have your deadline. But because this is an activity within Microsoft Project and it's in a Gantt chart most of these activities or most of these actions you can actually set as a column here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert and I'm going to type deadline. Now for most of these tasks you don't see a deadline and 
it is best practice to limit the amount of deadlines uh, in a schedule. Only the very, very important things that come from an external source should be in here. So it's not suitable to have this, these two dates here as being also deadlines because every time you suppress that, then there's an immediate alarm bell going off. You don't want, want that. Or I can imagine you don't want that. So let's set this one to roughly a week earlier. All right. Did everyone see that? I clicked on the deadline. It is earlier than the actual finish date that's currently being scheduled. And what I got here is a nice indicator. This task goes past its deadline on the 3rd of August. So that is what a milestone doesn't give you. It doesn't tell you if you are actually making a deadline. The milestone is going to tell you it is that date that something is finished. But is that a good date or isn't that a good date? We don't know based on solely the milestone. That is what we want to project, but that's what we do with the deadline. So it is best practice to have at least one deadline in that schedule. And maybe for a very important moments in time, you can set a deadline as well. So once you have that deadline in there, you'll have a clear um, point in time that you're going to focus on. So remember, a milestone is dynamic. It moves together with all the other elements within the schedule, such as this one. We'll just have this one move a week earlier. And what we immediately see happening is that the whole schedule moves to a date earlier than previously. And now we're actually ahead of our deadline and we're doing quite right. So this was a short introduction into deadlines. This is a very useful tool. I don't see it happening a lot where people actually use this, but that might be because you don't know about this feature yet. So now that you know, there's two ways to get to that deadline. You can double click on the task to open that task information page, go to advanced and click on a deadline, or you can add a column and note down a date that is actually set by an external source. So remember that this is something outside of your schedule that drives that schedule. For instance, the client said it needs to be there on the 3rd of August. Now you are going to schedule that as best as you can do, but are you going to make that deadline looking at the current schedule? Currently we are making it but let's say for instance, Dan is slow. Well, if Dan is slow, we'll have an issue. So that's it, a very short video wrapping around a deadline that we're missing. And I'm very sorry that I missed that last deadline, but this time, next two weeks, there's going to be another video for you. So hit that subscribe button so you won't miss that. Click on that like button so that my YouTube algorithms get my YouTube channel up and going um, and I hope to see you all in two weeks.